hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a very easy citrus painting with citrus fruits. This is a pink grapefruit cocktail I had at a bar recently. I've come, become quite obsessed with this pink colour with a, a violet undertone. So I'm going to try and recreate that using my Mission Gold paints. So I've been trying out some of those paints and swatching them and giving them a try together to try and work out which colours will work, which will work best together and which layer nicely together. And I'm now going to then use those colours to make um, a painting. This will be slices of grapefruits and blood oranges together to make a painting. I've taped my paper to the um, bench so it doesn't move around and also so it doesn't buckle um, and I'm now using this tape to give me some round shapes. I'm using the outside of the tape to give me larger circles for the grapefruits and the inner part to give me some smaller orange shapes and now I'm just going in freehand and adding in segments. I want it to be loose um, and expressive not too formal and stiff. I think if you try and make it perfect, sometimes it can just look like a, a bicycle wheel and, and not a, a slice of fruit. So it's important to remember these are organic um, and natural shapes, so they're not all precise. Okay, and now I'm just taking out the heavy graphite just so it doesn't show through the painting. So I'm just going to show you my colours. I'm using Quinacridone Rose with a little bit of violet added and it's quite watered down to give this nice pink tone. And I'm using Lemon Yellow and also Violet. And for the oranges, I'll be using orange with a little bit of permanent red added. So this is now the yellow being dropped in, just in flecks within the segments of each of the grapefruits. This colour will basically be overlaid later, so it's just to give an undertone of yellow. Just drop it in and leave some gaps for violet and also for some white to show through too. I'm also now adding the peel. This is um, the same yellow and I will just drop in some orange yellow as well, just to give it an orangey tone. So now I'm adding violet. This violet actually doesn't mix with the yellow very well, it creates a muddy colour. So all I'm doing is making sure that I don't overlay the violet and the yellow. I'm just placing them next to each other side by side. I think it's important to try your colours and see how they work together. I wouldn't have known that they created a muddy colour had I not swatched out the colours and mixed the colours beforehand. So it's a useful thing to do. I'm just going to repeat the process so you can see another attempt on a, a grapefruit here so you can see the process. I really have tried to kind of keep this really loose um, and not try to make it super realistic but just more expressive. I really want this painting to be more about the colour and getting those tones, those undertones in this pink really right. So just try to have fun and, and relax and do your best really.
So now I'm adding in the pink. This is a very watered down, watery mix of quinacridone rose with some violet added in to give it a sort of purple undertone. Um, that violet will come through obviously more where there's violet underneath, the flex underneath will shine through. Um, I'm just adding it really loosely. I'm keeping some little flex white um, and some of the undertone showing through so it just gives it um, kind of a lightness and it's just not a solid block of colour. So that's what I'm aiming for here. I'm now going back in with more of the pink. This um, has had just a little bit more quinacridone pink added in so it's a deeper shade. Um, and I'm now just placing that very loosely in over each of the segments. I'm not being careful, this looks really dramatic now, but it will sort of dry a lot lighter and it will just give sort of deeper shades here and there. It's actually quite fun to do something where you can be quite loose and expressive. You don't have to be precise, you're just dropping in colour wherever you feel really. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't cover up all the highlights um, and that there are some still showing up and it still feels quite a light painting. So now I've moved on to the oranges. I've started with the yellow again, Flex. These again will show through. You can see now as the pink grapefruits are drying that that deeper shade of pink is actually drying lighter. Uh, but you can still see the violet and you can still see the yellow showing through. Watercolour really is ideal for this because obviously it's a transparent medium and so you can layer colours on top of one another and they will still show. So this now is orange for the peel. Again, I'm not being too particular about the circular shape. You know, this is an organic thing, it's not a perfect circle. I have drawn um, citrus fruits in perfect circles before and they just look too clinical, they don't look right at all. I'm now going in with the pink, the quinacridone pink. This is to give those deeper undertones for the oranges. This colour mixes a little bit better with the yellow so it doesn't really matter as much now the placement, I'm just dropping in flecks of colour here and there, it could be quite um, indiscriminate with this colour. So now I'm going to overlay with the orange. It's a lovely transparent colour, this one. Very golden. I do really like it. It's quite a good autumnal colour. Um, but it's also beautiful for oranges, so I'm just dropping that in. Again, making sure that I'm leaving some highlights, you know, some highlighted flecks. I'm not making a solid colour, because that's not what we're after here. Like I say, I really have become quite obsessed with these colours together, they just work so beautifully together. Um, as you see, I've added some leaves, um, that's using hooker's green, a dark green. Um, orange leaves are rounded and quite deep in, in the green colour. So I've added those in because they offer a little bit of contrast. 
just help the composition a little bit. So now this is orange with a little bit of permanent red added in to give it that really kind of blood orange colour. I don't want these to be super red, I want them to be orange red, like a kind of blush blood orange. Um, it just, that rusty colour just works really well with the pink I felt, so that's why I've, I've mixed it like this. Um, again, I'm just dropping this colour in, trying to preserve some of the highlights I've already made, but trying to just keep it loose and expressive. I'm just kind of paying a little bit of extra attention where there's an overlap between some of the fruits and the slices, so that you get a kind of true edge um, and that it's not too rough at the edges so I'm just dropping that edge in quite carefully. But then the rest of the time I'm not being careful at all so I'm just just painting it in really and having a little bit of fun painting it. So now I'm going to use my metallic um, paint. This is a Mozart metallic paint set and I'm using this rose gold on the pink grapefruit, just here and there, just little bits on each of the segments. Just adds a kind of sheen to the segments. It makes them look sort of um, like they're catching the light, like a real fruit would, but also, you know, it's just an excuse to use my metallic paints that's um, it's always fun to use them I think. So now I'm using this sort of orange gold and that's going on the oranges. Again it just adds that shimmer and a bit of fun really. The, the colours work so well together so it's really nice. gold out of um, my Choosing Keeping set. Um, it's quite a vivid gold and I'm using this to outline the, the grapefruits. Not a perfect line, a really kind of rough squiggly line just so again so it's just um, kind of freehand and, and expressive rather than a perfect circle and um, it's just to add a little bit of detail and it, it works quite well. I think it's always fun to use metallic paints. Um, it's kind of like a childlike thing to do and it just makes it really fun. I'm just adding some veins to these, these leaves now just to add a bit more detail. And here we are, here's the finished piece. I'm just kind of tilting it so you can see the shimmer from the metallic paint and just how that works really with this composition. I really have enjoyed painting this painting today, it's, it's a really fun thing to do and I've really enjoyed mixing the colours and using the colours together. So thank you for watching, goodbye!